and the ordinance brought in by the government that protects convicted legislatures now lies with President Pranam Mukherjee. But NGTV has now learned that the President is hesitant to sign the controversial ordinance since a bill to this effect is already pending before Parliament and signing an ordinance might amount to a subversion of the legislative process. Will the President give his stamp of approval to the ordinance to allow convicted lawmakers to continue in Parliament and State Assemblies? Sources tell NDTV that President Mukherjee is unsure of the compelling need to bring an ordinance, especially as the government introduced a bill in Parliament last month. Three of the government's top troubleshooters, the Law Minister Kapil Sibyl, Home Minister Shinde and Parliamentary Affairs Kamal Nath were called to Rashtrapati Bhavan to explain. This on a day when the BJP called on the President, asking him not to endorse the ordinance. The BJP in particular targeting what they claimed was the political urgency in pushing the ordinance through. The political leader under the scanner, RJD chief and staunch Congress ally Lalu Prasad Yadav. The fodder scam verdict in which he is one of the main accused is expected on Monday. The BJP today underlining the fact that it was never in favour of the ordinance. In fact, voices of protest now coming from the Congress as well as government. One of the government's young ministers tweeted, Legality aside, allowing convicted MPs and MLAs to retain seats in the midst of an appeal can endanger already eroding public faith in democracy. The ordinance uh, issued by the government is uh, going to harm the poll prospects of the Congress party. It is impermissible in my view for the central government to request the president to issue an ordinance so as to make it law straight away. Ever since the cabinet cleared the ordinance on Tuesday, opposition has been growing. Now with the president's reluctance, will the government still try to push it through, risking political embarrassment if he sends it back or will they quietly withdraw and work to get a consensus? With Sandeep Pukan, Arunachalam Vaidyanathan and Sunil Prabhu in New Delhi, Siddharth Pandey for NDTV.